Okay, just tell us when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello, thank you so much for interviewing us uh, with us today. Could you tell us your name and your title, please? Sure. Colin Rose, uh, Assistant Superintendent of Opportunity Achievement Gaps here at Boston Public Schools. Wonderful. So, Dr. Rose, could you tell us a little bit about what you do and what you're particularly proud of from this academic year? Uh, so, what do we do? We do a lot. Uh, so we have three main buckets of work. One, uh, being professional development and capacity building for our professionals in, in the district. Uh, we've uh, come with a campaign called Culturally Linguistically Sustaining Practices, uh, which we've been able to spread to leadership. Uh, it's basically our take on culture proficiency um, to make sure that our professionals are ready to uh, accept the diversity uh, in an asset-based based way of our, cities and, of our city and the students in the city. Uh, second, we have a, a lot of targeted programming for marginalized populations. Uh, when we say marginalized populations, we, we normally talk about black youth, Hispanic youth, um, students with disabilities, English language learners, and those that are economically disadvantaged. Um, one such is success mentors, which uh, mentors chronically absent students. We have a 10 boys program working with uh, about 30 schools uh, that has a, kind of a rites of passage uh, uh, empowerment uh, curriculum for uh, young boys of color and young men of color. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the third bucket of work we do is some systematic work around our Opportunity Achievement Gap policy. Uh, that asks every single office, no matter where they sit, whether it be food services or academics, to think of their work through the lens of equity um, and closing Opportunity Achievement gaps. So we have an implementation plan coming out in, uh, in July uh, that will go before uh, school committee from a policy that was passed last July. Mm -hmm. uh, so every office and central office in, in our schools um, have bought in and, and uh, created some smart goals for that policy. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. That's so much. So as you're yeah. looking forward to like next academic year, what is something that you're particularly excited about that you would like for everyone in Boston Public Schools to know more about? Um, absolutely. So we have a CLSP coming to the to the school, so Cultural and Linguistically Sustaining Practices. Uh, principals throughout uh, this year have uh, gone through five three-hour sessions, and we're bringing that learning back to the school level. That means that every school will have an action plan uh, connected to their quiz of next year uh, around bringing uh, competency one of that continuum, which is awareness, right? So we're going to be diving into uh, the topics of bias, um, you know, the construct of race, throughout all of our schools so that we start embedding some of this uh, core foundational knowledge uh, to our work. Uh, we as professionals are, are vehicles of the curriculums that we teach and we have to understand uh, what we bring in culturally into the work and make sure that we are not only leveraging but we respect and we honor uh, the cultures of, of the students that come into our building. So, uh, that learning will start uh, an arc of work that's multiple years and it's, it's ongoing uh, reflective practices at our schools and central office. So we're really excited about that initiative and, and that, that's gotten the leverage that will be at every single school next year. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Rose, for this interview today and for all that wonderful knowledge and opportunities that you've shared with us. And so this is Karen Sean Hines saying thank you from the department of Innovation BPS, Building the Culture of We.